Hi everybody, Father Bill Holsinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. So I'm recording this on Wednesday. I'm uh, here in the backyard at the parish house, uh, the pastor's house, and uh, I am uh, just relaxing in the rest of the evening here uh, on Wednesday evening. And this is not obviously Friday, because Friday, I'm going to assume, is going to be much nicer than this. It's going to be much hotter. Uh, and here it's, oh, I don't know, according to my weather station up there, there it is. Mm -hmm. It's in the 70s, mid-70s. So it's nice. It's comfortable out here in the backyard of the parish house. What you see behind me is a bird feeder. That's a hummingbird feeder. I think it needs to be, I think it needs to be changed out. I haven't seen the birds on there of recent. And behind that is a pear tree, which I don't know if it would make it, but it did. Uh, there was another pear tree behind it, and let's say it didn't quite make it, unfortunately. It was uh, barely in the roots, and as this one started to break out in leaves, it, there was nothing there. So afraid that one had to go. So, so lots of things are happening this weekend. Number one is the International Festival, right? And that is a great time for everybody to gather. Uh, we will start Mass, of course, as our normal time. But we'll, before that, we'll have a, a rosary, specifically a not even a bilingual rosary. I'm just doing things bilingually. There's many different languages involved here. Uh, and there will be many different languages employed for the rosary. So that starts at 5 p.m. So at the at Holy Trinity Church. And so come on over for that. And, of course, Mass then will begin at 5.30 as normal. And the Mass looks pretty normal from what I know. So this is never having been never been at the uh, International Festival. Uh, this is what I've been told. And you, if you've been, you know this, and I'm, I'm the amateur here speaking to you experts. So pardon my uh, sounding like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyhow, um, so Mass will end, and at the very end of the Mass will be a blessing of some of the food, and not anything in particular, uh, or I should say, and not anything normal, I would say, very particular. It'll be a cooked pig, that's right. It'll be uh, brought forward at the uh, front of the sanctuary after Mass. I'll bless that, and then it'll head out to the uh, area where we'll be having our feasts, which will be the cafeteria and outside of the cafeteria. I encourage you to dress warm, because it's going to be in the 90s on Saturday, and which is a great news, right? But at the same time, you got to dress appropriately, and you don't want to have a, a heat stroke or anything like that. So my recommendation, dress appropriately for that warm weather on uh, Saturday. That's one thing. Another thing going on is uh, you may know that uh, since uh, we've had the departure for, of Nick going into another a line of work, he was our pastoral assistant, uh, myself and Deacon Brett have been pondering and praying and discerning what would be best in that kind of situation. When, when one person moves on, uh, I start to think about, well, what is God calling us to do? And so I asked Deacon Brett if he wants to stay as business manager or if he wants to consider going into a pastoral associate position, which he's done before. Uh, as a deacon, he has special skills, right? And so after discernment and talking to Teresa's wife, they discerned that, that he would go back to the pastoral associate position. And I'm very, I'm very happy for that because that'll give uh, me and our new coming priest, our new parochial vicar, uh, an added uh, presence of, of clergy that also have a lot of background and uh, he is one of the best deacons. I'm so glad he is with us, and I'm glad to be here because of, him, especially because he's here, and of course all the people as well. But a day to day, he's been, you know, holding the, the the flame of the culture of the parish, teaching me what is this, you know, things that we do, uh, the specific things that may be of uniqueness to uh, Holy Trinity for liturgies, and so I'm glad to have him into that position. Uh, so that'll be that'll be uh, a good adventure for me because I've not had that. I mean, he's been kind of doing two things, really, business manager and kind of pastoral associate anyway, uh, training Nick up. Um, but again, like, a, like I said, uh, that part's not going to go forward. So here we are. Now, we're also, hey, you can send this to prayer. We are also trying to now figure out how to handle the office space. So while Nick moves on, that office becomes vacant. We were actually were planning to have Pat and Nick in the same office. And with his leaving, well... Uh, we're looking at that differently. Maybe maybe the business manager goes in there or somebody else. Um, the office I'm in, which is the biggest office, we're trying to ponder on whether that can be divided up for two individuals because while we have Nick leaving, we are adding a parochial vicar and we need to hire a business manager. 
of course that you know replacing what um, what Deacon Brett's been doing and we also have a summer seminarian which I haven't shared much about uh, and I can't really share quite yet either because that's not finalized and I can't tell you who that is but uh, just like I can't tell you who the parochial vicar will be but just trust me it'll be good I think you're gonna enjoy both of the gentlemen that'll be coming to Holy Trinity in that regard so it's gonna be a, a fun summer and I hope that uh, uh, you'll be able to stop by and and get to meet all the new people when they come on board. And kind of our goal is July one. That's where the that's the fiscal it's the beginning of the fiscal year for uh, the churches and uh, the archdiocese. Um, that doesn't mean that's exactly how it's going to run down, but that's that's our hope that we'll be able to get somebody <clears throat> on board and uh, train them up, uh, get them ready, so that by July one we're uh, ready to go. So pray for that, that you know, God's will be done and that we will be listening well and discerning well for who that might be for that business manager. And if you know somebody, if it's you maybe even, uh, ponder applying. That uh, means then sending in a resume and a cover letter. And we'd like you to email that. And I believe that just go to parish at h-t.org. That email address, I think will get it to you. I think Eric will catch that and then that'll give it to our team that's doing the interviews for uh, that position. So those are the things that are going on this weekend. But there's one more thing, right? And it's Mother's Day weekend, I believe, right? Mother's Day weekend. Hey, moms, we love you. Uh, whether you're still with us here on earth or not, uh, we will be offering hopefully a prayer. In, yeah, in fact, I know this because I wrote them a prayer for a blessing of mothers in the prayers of the faithful. I don't know which language it will be, so I, you may not catch it if it's not your native language. Again, uh, the liturgy this weekend uh, it's going to be multilingual. But I'm going to think about it. Hold on here. That's just for Saturday. So I guess on Sunday, that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. So we'll be praying for mothers all the weekend through. And on Sundays, it'll be in English if you are an English speaker, as we are normally in a offering Mass in English. So I hope to see you this weekend at the International Fair or the festival, and that you'll be able to uh, come to Mass and, and also be there at the Rosary that when we are done with Mass, that you'll join us for I, what I'm assuming, because I've not, <laughs> I've not been here for this yet, but uh, a festival, a feast of multicultural uh, delights and food. And while I'm not a foodie, I will be doing my best to take some taste tests. Uh, if you ask me what you like, or if, or if I like something, I don't like something, I just be mindful that, uh, again, I'm not a foodie, so I, my opinions probably don't matter much. But uh, ask somebody who knows good food, and they can give you a real good expert food uh, food uh, commentary, right? But I'm just so glad that people are involved. I saw a list of all the different foods that are being offered. I can't even pronounce some of them. Uh, so it's a list that is a whole page long, I think in 12 size font. So a lot of different kinds of foods. And I hope that you can be there. I hope you can join uh, and come together. We are community. This is what we were called to do is we go to Mass, we join as not just individuals, but we join and become community, and we receive the Eucharist, which bonds us together in communion with Jesus, and then after Mass, another celebration, this wonderful international festival. God bless you all, and I'll see you at church. Bye-bye.